again. And yeah. Starting right. up the second game. And they'll, then they'll just have to put it first in the correct resolution and windowed mode. Uh, but after that, I'll, I, all I just really need to do is put it as source in OBS. I can change one of these for that. Let's see. When, but, uh, yeah, there. Okay. Uh, Over here, uh, normal modes. Uh, um, I, I can't go... see anything. It, it should be sh okay. That's that's because it's running in full screen mode at the moment. Uh, let's see settings, display there. Oh, no, there. Lower that down to 1080 and change this. There we go. There that we go. Be better. Now we can see that. Okay, main menu. Okay. Oh, now I see what he was saying there. That, yeah, don't worry. The floor did not get dirty. No uh, day causes tsunami. Uh, random Marco recently started playing Ocarina of Time for the first time ever. Okay, yeah, that is a, that is a pretty good game. Uh, the original 64 ver Nintendo 64 the 64 version. Or the uh, 3DS version. I've got the 3DS version. And I'm pretty sure I pl played that through <laughs> entirely. I, I need to play through Majora's Mask 3D still. Very Anyways. Uh, let's see. Geisha Boy. The can't swim part is because it sounds like a lot came out when you sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Uh, <clears throat> for anyone watching this on YouTube uh, later... Uh, welcome, I'll, I'm Captain Hillian, uh, over there we have Drakir, my co-host, and welcome to Hello. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And I, I'm pretty sure yeah. I keep saying that wrong, Will of the Wisps. Will of, yeah, Will of the Wisps, is it? Not Will of the Wisps. <laughs> Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Yeah. Okay. As is obvious, I have a save file here. Uh, let's get started. Okay, we have easy mode, we have normal mode, and hard modes. Uh, this game is going to kick up the difficulty a bit, but shall we still stick with normal modes? Probably good idea with normal mode, but before we do that, he's going to be filming glass. Okay. And, okay, I'm playing on a 3DS version, just beat it. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you think of it, Marco? And I'll wait for Drakir to return. Also, why is... It will give me a moment to correct this here. Why are you not... Why are you not responding to anything? Let's see, test one, two. Test one, why is, why is it acting like I'm a mime? Unless I'm, hmm. I'm back, and what the heck are you doing? Like, the avatar isn't re, isn't talking much. They're just <laughs> mouthing, not, not mouthing at all. It's, uh, why is that? Is it? Oh, it, it's probably because I had to reconnect my mic. Uh, <laughs> give me a second with this. Oh, all right, but once you get that, you need to read the chat. Uh, yeah, no way, Glacier Boy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's a lot better. All right. Now I can turn all of that off again, hide the voice meter, and here we go. I probably should have, yeah, probably should have changed the description, but oh well. Beautiful. And is yeah. the other corner right? Yeah, it's, the recording is going on. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Gumo. <laughs> He's looking a lot happier.
Picking up right where we left. thing <laughs> why are you saying okay he's saying his own name like he's a bloody Pokemon uh, let's see, Glacier Boy. If the game isn't raising your blood pressure, then you aren't playing it on the right difficulty. <laughs> okay. Oh, not uh, why I play games. It's going to take a moment to change the title. Not that it is, will change it, I think, on Twitch, but I will. Uh, let's see, Ori and uh, Will of the Wisps. There we go. Okay. Okay, what is that prankster up to now? Yeah, no, where is Paul? Somebody said more words than Gumo. Like, come with Gumo. Perhaps. That old tree. Doing a lot better now that the forest isn't dying. can't really survive on only fruits. On all, all our carnivores? Yeah. Or at the very least omnivores, perhaps. Like, I think you can feed them some fruits and such. And, yeah. is busted up. I do wonder, how would they react if they did make an animated series of Ori? I think that would take them quite a bit of work, but it could be absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, if done right. I still can't tell if Ori is 3D or fully 2D. Mm -hmm. 
I think they were 3D this uh, time. Yeah. The other characters well, at the very be... least are. And Ori just remembered something that was very useful to us in the previous game. We've lost our double jump. Go. Yep. <laughs> we could just go through here. Yep. There is something that Kuro left us, in a ways. The feather. can help if it could help or we fly maybe it could help who fly I mean, he was more gliding and screaming and panicking <laughs> this isn't toy story this is Ori's story oh i forgot that was a part of toy story as well <laughs> never liked it Maybe a bit much for the first flight. So tree. Sandstone back in its place. Almost oh, looked. Like a meet between a pterosaur and a goose.
so we start alone again. Oh dear. I think mean, this first time we hear Uri's speak. Yeah. And the very first thing that he says is to call for his sister. Ooh. Yeah. We don't have any. We don't have sign with us. So this time we are completely helpless. Yeah. And I'm going to try my best to not miss he coo for another Swedish word. Should I even ask? Oh, it's not lewd. It sounds similar to coo. This is cow. <laughs> okay. So, this is a case of a cows flying. Oh, good gods. Don't remind me of that. Especially um... how many cows you sent flying. Graphics quality, or the art quality, has not dropped a single bit, huh? Yeah, uh, games like these always impress me. When they can get this fantastical nature vibe uh, going. <clears throat> if this game also runs on Unity, then it would be absolute proof that it's, it is not the engine that is at fault for crappy games. It's the developers just not developing, really. Or, no, it can also be that they can't afford to uh, to get the paid version the first time. Okay. They just run off. Ah, damn it. Wait, I don't know what I think they are. It is. Yeah, it's the bloody slimes again. Though they aren't spitting this time. Uh, should I declare them one of your mortal nemesis? Yeah. Or nemesi in this case? Let's see. Can't go either way. Just throw a slime at it. Okay. We need keystones. And where are the keystones? We can't bash, we can't attack. Oh. Oh. We can grab a torch. Ori, discover fire! And it isn't science light. Oh, spirit light orb. Spirit Light can be traded to friendly creatures for various items and upgrades. It isn't Spirit Light, but it is a form of light. Water. Let's see, can we burn that? No, we can't. But this looks a lot more flammable. Uh. There we go, just there we go. that up. Bloody heck. Ooh, just close and hello. So we do voice acting with these or just leave it to the little blurbs that they say? Uh, since we can read them, I say we let's read them. Okay. What are you now? Not a Moki, clearly. Not even from Niwen, are you? I visit those mo I visited most lands near and far. I have not seen your kind. Come from across the water, maybe? Well, whatever you are, I'm talk. A wanderer in these parts. The better part at least. It's probably your camp we found earlier. I'm taking shelter from that store myself. But if you're thinking of going further, you'll have to get through that spirit gate over there. Oh, he gets hmm. You'll need two keystones. I happen to have one in my bag, and there's another in the cave to the west. But acquiring it is a job for someone more nimble than myself. 
What do you say? And yep, we have quests now. Yeah, look. Like I said this, even to do don't make an old order game, I do hope they do maybe more stories in this world. Yeah, it is a very interesting world. Yep. Oh yeah. So again, even if the developers don't want to make more order games, they do have a world to build upon uh, several games on if they wish to. Yeah. It, again, it's... It, it's already gone. Yeah, just saying gotta be careful and since we only have the single jump and no other mobility methods. Oh yeah. But yeah, I was going to say is it's up to the developers in the end if they want to make more or not. Yeah. What the heck? Nope. Is that an angry meerkat? Nope. Some sort of lizard thing. Okay, energy orb. Just the used to the store energy. Ooh, a and shower. of course, that's of course the torch goes out when we go through water. And yeah, this blue moss we can easily cling to. Just need to get within reach of it. Most and the there's air. the keystone. Okay. There we go. Used to open spirit gates. Different spirit gates may require a different number of keystones. We uh, never have we seen. Need... Sorry, go on. Uh, we <laughs> we never did find the, where those those other four keystones that we found were supposed to go. Well, yeah. What were you saying? Uh, what to say is. I haven't seen moss in ages. I do remember moss is. It's not. It's it's rather soft. Okay, we probably we might have been able to burn that with the torch. Oh well. Uh, like I said, if you go barefoot, moss not gonna be a problem. Do be careful when you walk in the woods with a lot of moss, for they can hide some pits. Yeah, and sharp stuff. Oh, you're back. Is that a keystone I see? Here's one more for your trouble. I am ever a bird of my word, hmm? Now I can continue my wanderings through Niwen's lost and wa yeah, lost wonders before we lose anymore. <laughs> And you can carry on with uh, whatever it is you're doing. Good luck. An age yeah, of place, wonders. This place didn't look too healthy earlier from what we saw. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I promise also to specify. While most can be comfortable, as you said, it can hide some stone. Our people have died in moss due to it hid. Very dangerous water pits. Uh, Speaking of dangerous. I had forgotten the damn thing. I can say this right away. No, Glacier Boy, you may not keep it as a pet. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't even keep it as a pet if you wanted to. Okay, we can still swim. Anything hidden around here? Doesn't look it. Okay. Just delighting in everything, eyes. Huh? Yeah. Bloody heck. Okay. Well, first chase of the game. Yep. Bad. Bad wolf. Bad wolf. And immediately we get into a boss fight because now the game has those. <laughs> now we have those. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> now I see Glitch Boy doing a sad face. What? Glitch Boy, do you really want this? Good thing too, because our torch broke. But we'll have to follow after it to get out of here. Probably before this place starts to burn down. Yeah. We had enough trouble with that previously. How's then? Yeah. We would not have been the first of its victims. Likely not the last either. It's not a spirit gate. Hmm. Not that there's much bo <laughs> not that there's that much uh, meat on Ori's bones, if he even has bones in the first place. Or meat. And he's knocked out. Favorite edge. I for you people wanted to see. Yep. Or he's armed and dangerous now. You're a Jedi, Ori. Oh, that was a... Me within in a meme within a meme or something. <laughs> yeah. We are going to be facing a lot more combat in this game. Other than just, well, sign zapping whatever is close to us. Where we now has to take care of themselves. Okay, we can break those to get magnets. You've gained a new spirit shard. Orbs float to Ori from further away. And yep, we have passives that we can also equip up to three at a time. Wait. Yeah. So did we finally have a more effective method to deal with the damn slugs? Yep. Or slimes or whatever the heck they are. 
nasty. That is definitely what they are. I don't think I need to, sp to speak over the little guys. Yeah. But it, we, we have it, but we can control the speech ourselves. We will read. But this, we will not read over due to... Oh, that's too adorable <laughs> to talk over as well. Oh. Okay, yeah. you are yeah. very freaking eager. Yeah, they are, it's ador too adorable to speak over and... We could accidentally miss some of what they say due to we don't have the. Yeah, we can't just press to continue on them. Notice something? Yeah, I see. Uh... Wait, who's. Is that a bloody mammoth? It very well looks like one. Yeah, a mammoth or some kind of elephant like creature. A very big one, judging by the fact that the tusk here is so freaking big. Or actually, yeah, I don't know. That's not from this. Could it? It looks like its tusks are broken off. It's a bit it, hazy wait. to see. It, it, it is. It's tusk. They're just slightly differently placed. Let's see. We need to. We need to find two keystones to get through that. We can't get to that ledge. So, let's see. Hmm. Okay, we can't break this. We can't jump through it. Then, where are the keystones here? There we go. The flashes can make it a little bit difficult to see things at times. Let's see. Nope. Okay. At least these are the spike spitters. Oh, hello. Why did you stop vibrating? Uh, probably a bit excited to find something else that's alive down here and not trying to kill him. Oh dear. And also, I, I, I know you showed me this game before uh, privately. Yeah. Before we even start the streaming. Or even had ideas of streaming. Yep. I just not realized. That's quite a large blade. Yeah, it's like, what? Almost three times his length? Yeah, if we include the detail. <laughs> but yeah, Actually, Ori isn't the toughest, so he does need to fight from a distance. Yeah. Uh, maybe it is twice as long as him? It's between twice or thrice as lo long as him. Very long right. at the absolute basic. Oh. <laughs> and it's this thing again. Some sort of scorpion spider or something. Yeah. Yeah. Deal with one. There we go. Okay, luckily enemies can drop uh, health bits and such. 
So we oh, aren't as dependent yeah. on making our own save points. I just realized something. Hmm? Or is Sephiroth? <laughs> no. There we go. Okay. Uh, can we even reach this? No, just shorts. Okay. End of the time then. And it's another spirit tree. A spirit sapling. Double jump. Okay, now we're going to be able to get through there. Yeah, but bloody heck. Here's another thing for maybe some people to know. Along coastlines, uh, the forests are at times, trees can become like this due to all the winds. There we go. Now we can actually stick to walls. There we go. Can't go that way. And yeah, now we don't even need to hold a button or anything for Ori to just stick to a wall. That's gonna be pretty useful, I'd say. And there. Just gotta make sure he washes his little paws before eating, though. Uh, probably good. I. Oh, that was not alive. Thank goodness. I was wondering yes. what the heck was biting the plank. Let's see. Okay, nothing more to be gained here. Can we break this? No. Okay. Actually. Okay, we might we might not be able to break it, but we might be able to weigh it down. Or not. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Even Glacier can confirm what I just said. <laughs> Let's see. Glacier Boy, I can confirm. I've seen trees in coastal areas. They look like they are being pulled from the ground. Oh, no, that too. Like, if you want inspiration for fairy forest, you definitely want to go to a forest that is close to the coastline. Can for they can there. go wild with the shapes. Like, but hey, that, that's one of us. I think I've seen that someone grew to basically become a share. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it, it somehow. Not grow out, then make a hasty turn, they grow straight up again. Ow. And I've seen people sitting on it several times. <laughs> okay. Let's see. But yeah, trees along coastlines can go really wild, hence why I recommend to go to those for inspiration for fairy forests. There we go. Let's see. Now that we have the double jump. Oop. Can you break this? Yeah, let like they can. They can't do it now. Okay. This way. And that's a keystone. Just need one more then. And Ori actually has an animation for throwing them in now. That okay. Is. Where is number two hidden then? Wait, I think I saw something. I think it was some meat left in the bone. Must consume. Let's see. Some stuff up there. Wait. Is this me or. How did they nerf them? Hmm? You mean the slimes dealing less damage? Move! 
Then don't become a mime within a mime. Is it my, not mime. Yeah, these are the these are the spike spitting slimes. I'm not sure if we'll see the the ones that leave behind a patch or something. Because I wouldn't be surprised at all if they just remove those. Hmm. Yeah, I would not be surprised. Now, there's a keystone. We missed it. Plus, Uri has a lot of uh, has a lot more health now. They also take quite a bit more damage. Yes, they, I kind of like they have made progression that the Uri has gotten older and stronger. We can't stun lock that, those things, so we do need to dodge after a few attacks. Go. Okay. Now we can use that rock to blow off the blow off the to block off the energy flow down there. Come on, the Okay. Let's give it a push. And there we go. One natural shield. So let's go grab the keystone. Natural shield. You, you're moving a... Basically a fake wall. Yeah. <laughs> okay, up and up. And yeah, now we can get out of here. Uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure if you were to buy an art book of this game, it would be like 500 pages thick with just screenshots of from all over the place, connecting in one giant ass map. Wait the bad bad just to be get one giant map instead of the whole entire book. <laughs> hmm. yeah, my, my point being that this game is basically amazing art from start to finish oh it is it is you do get a little bit used to it due to just how much you see but it doesn't that doesn't take away from the fact that it is still all just absolutely gorgeous oh yeah and let's see Lehibo has written something let's see i mean healing's not wrong in calling it a natural shield <laughs> Uh, is a wall also not a shield after all? A shield against the elements, definitely. <laughs> okay. And now we can make our way out of this place, so slowly but surely. Well, what first you jumped over to give it a slight slug with a final deadly blow? Okay, pull the pole. This looks... Oh, yeah, that's breakable. And let's see. Life cell fragment. If you found a life cell fragment, collect one more to increase your maximum life. Yeah, <laughs> Ori has grown so much more... Uh, what would be the words? Uh, healthy would be a one word for it, but a very easy. But yeah, <laughs> we need to get fragments now to actually get life upgrades and energy upgrades as well. There. Use and the force, almost out. Forty. Use the force. Let's take that. And there we go. Are you a spirit? Then tremble, spirit. You stand before Mark the Brave. It's not very convincing, I know. But I am brave. Or I would be, with a trophy. A trophy like a hull skull. Or just a fang. If it's not... If that's too heavy. Okay. 
Uh, not sure what happened there. I heard the Howler fighting to the east. Maybe I dropped one? Okay. A little braver. Find the Howl Fang. If we... Yeah. Sometimes he, sometimes he, he, he's talking to the others. He vibrates. <laughs> okay. I've been mo I've been looking more at the, the text and such. Let's see. Well, I think that fang. might be a... Uh... A bit of an animation glitch with the terrain. Maybe. Let's see, back here again. Now actually properly armed. And dangerous. But most of all, still just adorable as all hell. Yeah, and why the heck did I just imagine Oren Gang singing... Uh, oh, what the his name of that song again? The one you have with the most views. <laughs> the satellite pint for me. That one, yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that still gets like 50 views every month or so. More than all of my <laughs> streaming videos combined. <laughs> uh. Okay, we got the fang. But it is most like a, a obscure game to begin with. Yep. And it, it is a pretty good song, and yeah, I just had, I just had the luck of making the highest quality version of that, yeah, of that song. And yeah, I, I think also the earliest. Yep. I, I checked it a while back, and there was one other who uploaded. Uh, that's, that's at around the same time, but they have a lot lower quality in it. So yeah. A bit of an odd thing to be known for, but not really known for, but still very nice. Ooh, a real howl fang. None will doubt mark the break now. This is for you. I am brave, but I am also generous. Did I just pull that out of the air? Gore like ore. Found some ore. A clever craftsman could use this to repair structures. That is just re a really nice sound. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck. I'll... Yeah, I really like this game. Then again, I'm, I'm the person who really likes uh, wolves and elves more than humans in fantasy games. Uh, where did we get? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, the game auto checkpoints now as well. So that is something we can mess up a lot less with. Yeah, like, like press out your it. own saves as long as you remember it and don't accidentally mess up with it as well. It's yeah. gonna be so that it can be handy, but you can also... Yeah. Screw yourself. Yeah, like it's, it's a lot of power. A bit too much power in your own hands in a way. Yeah, it, it's sense. very easy. It's very easy to end up wasting all of your energy and just being unable to pro progress without you know, getting energy from somewhere. Yeah. And don't eat the mushrooms. Okay, just hand you this again. It, it does look like they're pulling it out of the ear, but I think it's supposed to be coming from behind their head. <laughs> Which, well, the ear is part of the head. <laughs> okay, gotta be careful. We have w one hit. <laughs> we get smacked in midair. I think it's more swollen you hole. Okay, just going to ignore you. Third time to charm. You're not really so brave if you have others grab things for you. True, but at least he paid us. Can we do this without getting hit now? Yes, we can. All right. Let's 
Gotta not overextend when we attack. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that looked like Scorpius just uh, uh, took a little bit of a different evolutionary path with the Stinger. Yeah. Let's see. Increased damage dealt and taken by 15%. And yeah, some of these can be upgraded to well, take and deal 25% more damage. And let's see. Orbs float to Ori from a great distance away. Good. Good. Come on. We can we can do this jump. There we go. Let's try those for a bit more points. And here's another one. Regenerates. Nice. Yeah. And now, when we want, we can use energy to heal ourselves. So of course, oh, that a is really nice. good ability. Yeah, I kind of like how what it did with this game. Even though I feel like it might make it in some ways more streamlike to be from like other games, but sometimes it can be a good thing. Let's see. Oh, there's something that way. But how do we get there? Okay, all the collectibles are shown on the map already. Along with stuff that we can break. Or should be able to break. Okay, there must be something to activate that. Let's see. Oh, okay. yeah. This is a quite different place than Nibel, huh? So what is damn well made. There's something there. No, I can say this. If they all have been working on third game, I would not be surprised it takes uh, the, them long to do all this art. Definitely. And, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think you need to say this, but I've said this many times before. The bloody pandemic. Okay, who's... Oh... oh. Okay. Lupo. Manush. Greetings, Traveler. I'm Lupo, mapmaker extraordinaire. Huh. Honey. Quite the storm that passed through made my maps a little soggy, so I'll give you half off. Agreed? Jinshelo. After all, rumor has it you're looking for a friend, and what's better than finding for finding maps for finding things than a map? <laughs> okay, just 50 spirit lights. And yeah, this will be how we get our maps now. Okay, yeah. Definitely need to head up this way, I think. Uh, is that a... Okay, that's a dead end. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm seeing many passageways it. through here. Poke it to make sure it's dead. Okay. I think the best thing we can do right now is to head to this new area and see if there's any passageways through there. Thank you. <laughs> That's 50 back. Okay, that's a bash lantern. But we don't have the ability. Thank you. Can break through this. Okay. There. And another new ability. Resilience. Okay, reduce damage taken. Let's see. Let's put that instead of that. 10% less damage, 20 at next level. Go. But, yeah. 
Ori now has a bit of an RPG system to it as well, with these abilities that we can swap out whenever we want. I'm not entirely sure if it's the best idea to try and swap them out mid yeah, in the middle of a fight. Hello. Come to see the view. Splendid, isn't it? A wellspring in all of in all her magnificence. A whole generation of Moki have come and gone since the old mill's wheel was last turned. What streak do we go all the way out here? Something must have stirred her from her roost. Some threat, perhaps? Or some visitors. Not you, Shirley. You look harmless. We should fix that. Luckily for you, I just happen to be a weapon master. Interested in honing your skills? I can offer a deal on your first purchase, on purchase only, so choose wisely. In let's I wonder... see. Well, he was to see, he, he tried to see before the Shri came. Yeah, something about the library. Let's see. Spirit smash, pound foes with a strong sweeping blow, destroys unstable ground, could be useful. Sentry, spawn a spirit orb that attacks for you. Basically, a, uh, a fox sign. Spirit star, throw a star that returns to you. Spike. Throw a powerful Spear of Light. Uses a large amount of energy. Destroys unstable ground. And Blaze. Set nearby enemies on fire. I think we've had enough fire for the moment. And we have just about enough. Let's get this one. Make the most of your new skill. The next one comes in cheaply. If you care to put your skills to the test, there's a spirit shroud nearby. That's the place for you to prove your metal. Our paths will cross again. Till then, keep your blade at the ready and an eye on the sky. Because once again we have to deal with an angry bird. Herb. And yet we can get rumors about stuff in the area. According to Ofer. A shrine stands in Inkwater Marsh, near the entrance to Quarlock's Hollow. We can just about grab that and get all of over it. Let's see. There is a little opening down there, though. Is there anything? Of course, it manages to just get us with the edge of it. What is this here? I think I remember what that is a part of. And yeah. Uh, I should equip this. Yeah. Basically, we have a light hammer now. Holy. And we can also just smash with it. There we go. So now we have quick and heavy attacks for when we need them. It's okay. That can we break this? Nope. But we can break the other side, likely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's... <laughs> okay, I was half expecting him to still be spinning in the air. I hope it's making you to fly into the thorns. Over here. Uh, 
There we go. Uh, we can't jump that high and we don't have the launch. But we can use this to be launched. Bye bye! At least the way back. Okay, not sure if it actually gives a little bit extra, but still very nice I, to just smash those things. I think it did. Holy. Mosquitoes. Yep. And I remember these being really annoying. Rip and tear until it's done. It's a do music. Now we actually wonder how good Doom music would go with Ori here in the boss fights. Because of course there's going to be uh, multiple boss fights. Hello? Where the feather went. Clever little blighters, huh? And hello. Hey, talk. The gaze of the great Quallock admits only the worthy. Or so the legend says. Of course, this isn't Quallock. It's just a statue, isn't it? It's just a statue, hmm? Come to think of it, it doesn't have any eyes either. How is it supposed to gaze at anything? <laughs> Some legend. All right. Okay. <laughs> we just flush the place. The place, the place. Bleh. Seems again I'm just having trouble speaking normally. Wait, what? Didn't you say place twice? Yeah, uh, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I said placed before. And yeah, that's just the, the drop slimes again. Let's see. We can make this jump. Okay, we're just in an upper area here. Doesn't look like there's anything to jump for us to. There. Yep. Ow. Oh, hello. I'll take that. I think I know what this is going to be. Time for some rocketing. Nope. Spirit arc. Yep. <laughs> or he has a bow uh, and arrow. Uh, I have enough a longbow, but... Th th that bow is bigger than themselves. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nope. Secret area found. And an energy cell fragment. Okay. There we go. Damn it. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. Hmm. Uh, I, there. If I just to say, shoot that one. <laughs> yeah, it took me a moment to notice it. Mosquito. There. Can we? Yeah. Okay, we can't cling and shoot it, but we can get a bit more air. Eye stone. This curious, uh, curious eye-shaped gem would fit nicely into a stone eye socket. Ah. Okay. Heal up. We can only heal when we're actually standing still. On guard. Okay. Does the what a horrible actually... thing, sir. Okay, that does use energy, but not too much. Okay. Now I see what we need to do. Then use our air time. And there we go. Another ice stone. Wait. Are we basically curing a blind statue? Basically. <laughs> Ori in the blind forest to Ori in the blind statue. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, it should be about what we can find around here. He's gonna eat us, ain't it? Warlock's Hollow and Hello. Thrillen. Ooh, the glowing stranger my customers speak of with shots. Aw. Tell me, is it usual for your kind to fall from the sky? I have met many curiosities on my travel after all. Oh yes, some fall, some fly, some prowl, some slither. Not all are customers, you see. Just customers who want spirit shards. Let's have a look what you have. Okay, we can get a, an additional energy cell. Uh, no, some you can't. Uh, yeah, we can't afford them, but these are all other passives that we can buy. Let's see. Swap maximum health, uh, yeah, maximum life and energy. Okay. Overcharge, reduced energy cost, and increased damage taken by 100. Okay. That would be risky, but as long as you can use your energy abilities to keep at a distance, it could be pretty useful. Wing clip, deal bonus damage to flying enemies. That would be pretty useful because I think those mosquitoes can be really annoying. And a crit chance. Wow. Okay. We'll see more of them later. Okay, that was sheer luck. Oof. There. Okay. <laughs> Stone frog with a stone tongue. Yep. Hello there. You are a spirit, yes? I've seen your ghosts. No, it's true. There's a place where the ghost spirits run and play. I tried to raise them once, but I'm not so fast. Yep. Spirit trials. It looks like there were spirits here at one point, but now no longer. But why? Wasn't that something that was left unanswered? 
Or yeah, how, how do you mean? Like, when we played this, we, I think we got frost a bit. We loved the game when we played also with frost, we didn't get to know what happened to the spirits. Well, yeah, we did only get. Up. We did only get in a little bit then. Close to when the game originally released. So it is. I don't remember at the moment if it is ever revealed. But we're likely to find out somehow. We may need to regenerate. Luckily enough, we auto targets these. Yeah. That one is not useful to us. The way it's squinting at you. Okay, are you going to reset or do you need to get shot again? Yep, you need to get shot again. Okay. There. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. And let's see. Okay, it's a pressure plate. Closes too early for us to be able to get through. Can we... No, it's just out of reach from there, but we can get through it from here. Okay, that works. <laughs> what? Did you see that? Yep, it bounced off. There, let's get rid of the pest. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 yeah then just how it bounced off the crystal looks <laughs> hilarious. Hmm. Dunk. Ah, I see. Can jump through those. And what we can do is hit that one. Uh, hit it again. Simple little puzzle. There. This on here. That one. And it's going to push on on its own. And there we go. And puzzle solved. Yep. For some reason, my nose is starting to itch. Okay. Uh, Chair, hold Yuki to your nose to show she can scratch it. No, thank you. Thanks. Oh, reminds me of something about a cat I heard that is wholesome. Uh, you, you know, cats occasionally or often in later times give uh, you gifts. Yeah. These are not always pleasant. Like mice However, and such. Yeah, oh, there's a cat that was something unexpected. No. They give the owner only edible mushrooms. <laughs> okay. Only the edible ones. Like the cat sail out knows which is edible and which is poisonous. Hmm. Could have been if they tried it themselves and, well, went with the ones that didn't make them sick. Dude, it did not go as far as I expected. But still, I, will, I, I have been planning to tell you that for a while, but uh, part of me feels like... Will they not end up trying to train Inky to do that? Maybe. Okay, that's our way back out.
Let's see. No. I don't wanna how would you react if Inky started doing that? I would be very amused to say the least. <laughs> the question mm. is, would you eat the mushroom? Yeah, it depends. That is, it, it, it's probably it's an edible mushroom, of course. Yeah. I definitely would need to clean it beforehand, of course. Well, of course. And then dry it, smoke it, grill it. <coughs> now, now there's two of these here. Yeah, that's something worse than one mosquito is when there's two. Yep. Or a swarm. Go. Luckily, we have a bow to deal with them. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> uh. <laughs> a little show off. Okay, this is a dead end. See, there's a Moki out there. Hmm. What did we actually... Now we missed a spirit orb, but oh well. Hmm. Let's see, what is... Oop. Oop. Thank you. And there we go. One complete energy cell. Yep. Oh, I know these little spots. There we go. Luckily, the game has a bit of lock on if something is close enough. That's a, always a welcoming thing. But some games, it, it's sometimes kind of hard to aim and shoot them. Yep. That, that looks like a... Like a sea slug. Yeah, it's a slug of some kind. And hello there, Lupo. Can we get up to you? Not without another move or something. Don't you have double jump? Yeah, we do, but even with that, we don't have enough reach. Oop. Ow. Hmm. What was that? Can we make that? No, just short. Okay. We're going to need more air time for that. Also... There we go. Full heal for one energy. At least a full heal at the moment. Ow. <laughs> okay, you got what you deserve there. Holy. Okay, that one's tied to a mechanism somewhere. points oh. okay notice for the spirit trial or is it just let's see find oh no we just activated it I should I should try to isolate that sound and see if I can put it on something oh, oh. Okay, we can't hurt these things. Yep. Why did... Okay, controller just disconnected. I hope the batteries aren't going dry. It has been a bit since I've charged them, so I might need to swap them out. Okay, that opens up. 
Okay. Yeah, I see its weak point. Yeah. It just doesn't reveal it a lot. Gotta avoid it for now. Yeah, probably a good idea. Almost it jumped into the spikes again. Actually, we can deal with you now. There. We could put a different weapon up in the upper slot as well. Oh, and another three. Okay, this one has been some really strong wind at one point for, for yeah, quite a while. Yeah, and they can turn like that, trees, actually. So it's kind of realistic, in a way. Okay, now we've got the dash ability. Now, oop. Now automatically with the air dash as well. Okay. Cover a lot of ground with this. There. There. And there's something up there as well. That we can't reach at the moment. Yep. Might as well deal with that with a safe way. It's Glacier Boy. Time for me to head to sleep. Good night, everyone. All right, sleep tight. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed well, the show. Oh, missed sleep. the button. Sleep well, uh, Glacier Boy, and thank you for joining. We are so to in stream as well. Uh, yeah, in about uh, seven eight minutes. But we'll still make as much progress as we can at the moment. Okay missed it or I missed the up press to grab onto it there Oop. fully charge that okay there we go thank you Money. Yep, yep. come on <laughs> Go, move up. Okay. There. And let's see. Now we're back at the exit. Hmm. There's a race there that we could do for extra points. Something breakable there. I think all we get from the the spirit trials is light points. So I'm not really sure if they're that worth doing. Well, it would allow us to buy more skills and upgrades. True. But for now, let's just continue on. There. deal with that before it's a problem and yeah now we definitely have to reach to get here okay we well, yeah, have very good design that the skill that we obtain is the oop, the thing we use to get out of this pit yeah well, what was his name again uh, let's see the, the place or the ability, because this is Quarlox Hollow and the, the uh, dash. Oh, right. Mm, well, it does make sense. It is a dash move. The little bit mixed between a sea slug and caterpillar and a shark. <laughs> okay, not sure where the shark part comes from. The mouth. Let's see. 
Hello there, welcome to Quarlock's Hollow. Oh, Unji Quarlock. Here we are in the domain of the great Quarlock, guardian of the marsh. Hmm. Thanks to his care, why things have hardly changed around here since the decay <coughs> since the decay came. Ah, Inajuko. Care to purchase a map of the big toad's abode for one hundred? We can spare that. There you go. Okay, that's quite a bit to go still. Wait, he's a toad? Yep. A toad about. Who's a... Oh, for first reason, it was a turtle. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, we can go through there or here. Presuming that. Oop. Let's give this way a try, since it's the closer one. Oh, you again. I should try out the our heavier attack on that thing. That might be able to get through its armor. First moving up here. Thank you. And that's another health bar. No, not health bar. Health cell. Nice. Okay. Oh. Okay, might as well since we're here. Okay. Go that way. Down there. Hmm. I, oh, that is going all the way. Yep, all the way to there. Hmm. Yeah, you're not doing that in three minutes. Yeah, it could be done in 25 seconds, but uh, let's not. That is quite the detour. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that spirit light is going real fast on that. Okay, rude. Time's up. Ow. Okay, nice that it does respawn you back there. But yeah, we're... We're not going to try that for the moment. And yeah, I... I remember this place because these two always spawn here and come stupid controller lost connection. Come on. Yeah, of course. And Okay, if the game if the controller loses connection, pause. There we go. It did pause the other times. Okay, yeah. The batteries aren't gone on this one. <laughs> and about well, perfect timing with 40 seconds to go then. Yeah, so it's probably it also the call to say time for bed. Okay, I'll put the batteries in the charger a bit later. But yeah, for now. Uh, also nice that it back up backs up the saves. So let's head to the main menu. Okay. And again, we'll go look for someone to raid. So let's head on over here. Close off the game. And let me see. Browser, mute Twitch, and oh, there goes the timer. <laughs> okay. Change the screen share. And let's have a look. There's quite a few more people online at the moment. 
Starting with Zeri the Fox, who is streaming Satisfactory again. They've been playing that again for quite a bit. Uh, they recently got a new model as well. Let's see. Next up, we have Reef the Leaf with Mega Man Battle Network. I I'm think they've sure been busy is... with that franchise. I'm pretty sure this is not a Satisfactory. Uh, oh, yeah, this mind. is Satisfactory. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Reef the Leaf with Mega Man Battle Network. I should take a look at that collection that came out recently. I'll, though I'll probably wait for it to go on sale, of course, because I'm a cheapskate. Okay, next up we have uh, Live Crow, who is listed as playing Darkest Dungeon, but they're playing Rust instead. Okay. Swole Bay 7028 is playing Vectorio. Torpid Torpist is playing Near Automata. I think they've played that once before, or a few times. Uh, Jimmy McGinger is playing Xenogears. Okay, can't say I've heard of this, though the, it does look a bit familiar with the... I, I have heard the name. I, I just, I'm just sure if it's related in any way to Xenoblade or Xeno Chronicles. Mm, I doubt that they are. Maybe distantly, but definitely not the Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm pretty sure that is basically standalone on its own. Uh, next up, we have Redacted Cat, who is streaming Diablo 2. Uh, WBPL76 is playing Valkyria Chronicles. Then we have Smoops Other Nonsense with Battletech. Let's see. They've been busy for... Oh, no, they've, they've swapped over to MechWarrior, it seems. Yeah, that can be quite annoying when Twitch doesn't update the, the when you've moved to a different game. Okay, now it's updated to Battletech. Okay. Maybe they just switched or something? Oh, well. Yep, that's something falling on my keyboard. Uh, Caret browsing? The fuck? Let's not activate that, whatever that is. Next up, we have Halloween 4545 with Vampire Survivors. Then we have Touch Scaly Tail with Backpack Hero. I think we've seen that played once before. I'm and then sure. Horatius the Dwarf is still doing their, uh, maybe not psychology stream, but changed the title. Let's see. Chatting with Diggy Dross, Carrie Cherry, and Corey. Okay. All right, so any of those uh, you want to raid, or shall we look at Recommended again? Uh, let's take a look at Recommended. Let's see, we have Mangled Pork with Barrow Trauma, Eye for Scotland with Rafts, Rufert is also streaming Darkest Dungeon 2, uh, The Mental Marsupial, uh, we've seen that name pop up before, I think. They're streaming Metro 2033 Redux. Then we have Jackal Paw Pad with Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And last but not least, we have Melkaya with Elden Ring. Melkaya, Mel that sounds familiar. Though I don't know where yeah. from. Yeah. Okay, which I would you say? Uh... Hmm. Or shall I just pick from any of them? Yeah, you. I'll let you pick this time again for I am getting sleepy. <laughs> okay, let's go give the mental marsupial a try. Okay. Copy the name, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy and Marco, for showing up and sitting along a bit. It's appreciated every time. And thank you as always, Vakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. Uh, rest day tomorrow, and then Tuesday and Thursday, we'll be continuing with Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Um, I doubt we'll be able to finish it in that week, even though the Prince of Persia games are relatively short. They are generally about eight hours each. Yeah, it also depends on, well, if we're able to do the whole three-hour part of the streams. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely need to try and get that working a lot more. But yeah, for now, let's start up at raids. Okay, it's not blocked. And yeah, 
Uh, until next time, thank you all again for watching. And yeah, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for giant, scary mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, and just bigger ass wolves as well. Yeah. <laughs>